Nueva York. Well, Manfred, uh, the last time we talked, we were in a different kind of weather. <laughs> we were in Puerto yes, Rico driving was. the new Mini with the amazing three-cylinder engine, and now we're the headquarters for North America BMW, so thank you for having us here. Of course, you're welcome. And a very interesting program. We're seeing a, a lot of new things from BMW in the, 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 pro, the program that you work at. Uh, Fishers, can you talk a little bit about the prototype, the X5 prototype uh, first, please? Well, we've, we've brought a, a BMW um, X5 um, prototype plug-in hybrid car over here from Europe because we wanted to give you a first insight even if it's still in a working progress for the next long yeah. period of time um, on um, what we want to uh, introduce into the market in the future. We start electrification of vehicles with BMW i3 and i8 um, already with the i3 soon to be with the i8 as a first plug-in hybrid and we want to send out the message that we will not stop and continue even with the core models of the BMW brand and the BMW, BMW X5 is the first outcome of that. Yeah, uh, one of your most popular uh, vehicles uh, in the US at least I think, the X5, uh, but very very interesting technology because it's not just plug-in hybrid, I mean it has like amazing technology for example something that got my, uh, my attention immediately is that mode where you can set up the destination and then the car thinks for you what's the most efficient way to drive. That's right. Uh, we call it a predictive driving. Um, it, it makes especially sense. Well, we, we've introduced it with uh, corporate models already with combustion engines and we've introduced it in the past with active hybrid models 3, 5 and 7. Yeah. Um, so it is already in the market. It is a sophisticated working uh, system already, which is based on the GPS data. Um, and we want to make use of that in terms of drivetrain strategy. So especially for a hybrid car where you can switch in between the distribution of um, loads on the combustion engine or the electric motor, yeah. um, it makes sense when you have an intelligent system who can uh, judge upon where the most efficient use of energy uh, in which part of the engine it, yeah. uh, it is at the moment. Um, and you have the information on where you are going, road conditions, speed limit conditions, um, traffic information, topography, if there are hills in there where you can regain energy by rolling down a hill or where you need more energy to go up a hill. Um, the system totally itself calculates the best and efficient way how to how to get to your target. Uh, yeah, so it's not an autonomous uh, driving car, but it's like very intelligent. I mean, because it's doing a lot of uh, calculations for you. There is a lot of steps to go for an uh, autonomous driving, but it is one of the key factors, uh, I'd say, as a first step to get there, yes. Yeah, so the X5, uh, you said it's a prototype, uh, but I mean, the, the one we just drove here around the headquarters at BMW here in North America, it's a, it's a, it's a working, so any time frame yet, but... And not only for this car, but as you said, it's going to be in other models too, right, in the future. Yeah. So this car we will see in, um, on the streets, I can clearly say within the next two years. I wouldn't expect it from your side to be on the street this year in 2014. But after 2014, let's say it this way, everything is possible. Um, it is the first model and we want to introduce plug-in hybrids with other BMW models as well. The factor here would always be the, 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 the question if it makes sense. For us, yeah. especially in the X5 segments, we found out that a high amount of customers do not drive more than 30 kilometers per driving unit. Um, and that is exactly, um, in, in terms of mileage, that would be around, I, th I think, around 16, 17, 18 miles. Um, that's exactly what we can drive electrically. So we want yeah. to give the customer who has a short distance driving during the day, maybe city traffic where a combustion engine is not very efficient, a possibility to drive um, emission free. It also um, depends on not looking only on the, on the American market, but also considering, for example, the European market um, in cities like um, Paris and France. 
we get new regulations now, which we also know from Beijing, for example, in China, mm -hmm. where you are judged by the number plate if you can drive on a certain day into the city. So the future, uh, with future emissions and targets uh, of reducing emissions and air pollution, um, electrification will play a key factor. So it's not only about fuel consumption; it's only about. Uh, it's also about flexibility in yeah. the future for the. Uh, and I think uh, your, the, the 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 solutions that BMW is coming up with and and all manufacturers are is much more efficient than the, the nameplate because in some countries like Mexico, Sao Paulo, when they put the regulation based on your on your license plate, people who can't afford it just buy a, a, a buy a, buy a, another car. So. It defeats the purpose almost. So this, what you were saying, the, 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 the new system reduces the emissions by almost 55%? Based on the, I mean, we, as I said, we are far away from market yeah, no, launch, I know, but, but, the, but the we, started testing, we started testing, we're a European-based country, so we started testing on the European test cycle. And in the European test cycle, we can reduce um, the consumption compared to a 35i model which is a comparable power mm -hmm. output uh, matchup uh, by more than 50% in this test cycle yes yeah excellent and there's other other cars there's the uh, uh, cars with diesel engines uh, but those cars are going to continue to exist right of course of course electrification um, we are in in the beginning we are producing combustion cars now for more than a uh, hundred years um, so this is the very starting uh, grid still where we are in with electrification but in the future we are pretty much convinced it's not about uh, if it's about when it will grow we are pretty convinced that uh, electrification will uh, become more and more um, necessary to to reach future targets on our and, planet and the efficient dynamics groups also not only sees the the power trip but also materials lightweight we just saw the i i3 uh i mean like the how it's made carbon fiber plastic and the ex exterior panels so all those elements go into this yes it's the the more efficient the the general body concept of a car is in terms of lightweight design and aerodynamics the less energy the car is demanding from you so if you have a light vehicle and yeah. a good aerodynamics then there is not as much energy needed as if it's a heavy car with um, uh, bad aerodynamics so this is why we focus on the on the development of the whole body concept of the vehicle concept to be efficient then, of course, we want to integrate a dynamic powertrain, which identifies with the BMW brand and, and the, the, the core brand values. And um, at the same time, as for example, the predictive driving helps us to, uh, to manage the energy flow in the car in an intelligent way. These are the three steps uh, in our efficient dynamics approach for every vehicle of the company, not only for one single solution. Excellent. Well, Manfred, thank you very much again for, for your time, and uh, we're going to go out and keep driving uh, these uh, fabulous cars, and we'll, uh, we can wait to see them in, in production when they come out. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.